Speed Sports presentation of the Boston Louis Seymour Memorial is brought to you by Acquia, the digital business company, and by Total Seal High Performance Piston Rings. Welcome back here to Seacock, getting ready for the Total Seal Light Heat Races. More heat racing coming up in just a minute, but first we want to go down trackside where our Derek Pernasiglio is caught up with Heat 1 winner, Paul Scally. Well, Paul, dangerous Scally, pulls the helmet off, wins heat race number one for the Neiman Midgets, but how's the car working tonight? We saw a little bit of smoke come out the breather. We, uh, we broke the drive shaft in practice, and uh, something else is still a little messed up, but we'll get it. What do you think is messed up on the car? Is it in the rear of the car? Something with the rear with the drive shaft broken. Maybe the rear caliper's not working right, but we'll get it. Well, we'll keep an eye on his progression through the rest of the night. Now we're going to take you to the highlighted look at the three total seal light heat races. These are the smaller cars here. Yes, and they start all the cars in the feature, so your finish in your heat race is extremely important. Paul Bigelow in the 31, the blue and black car jumping out into the lead in front of Krejcian in the 29. And already one lap started, and we go to yellow because the 46 of Burroughs is up along the wall. Andy getting in his 46 going again. Ooh, he took a wild ride. Yeah, it looks like Jake Smith got in the back of him. That was about as close as it gets to not flipping over. Back underway and back out front goes to 31, and here comes the 93. Screaming up the inside, Jake Smith. The less horsepower in these cars, momentum is even more important. You want to be off the gas as little as possible. Good two and three wide racing through the pack. So it makes these midgets so fun, really. There's so many different lanes to choose from. Just when it looked like Bigelow was going to have this thing figured out, he's starting to slip back through the pack. 29 of Krejci getting by. And now the nine challenging on the outside. That's Chris Lamb. Going to the inside is a 35 machine. That's Randy Cabral. Chris Lamb has a ton of experience. He's the winningest driver in USAC Ford Focus Racing. Doesn't take long for this one to wrap up. Checker flag falls. And you see the nine getting by Bigelow right there at the end as Lamb picks up one more spot. Here's a look at the results. Heat number one for the Total Seal Light Heat Races. On to heat number two now. 24. On the inside, Calvin Carroll. It's a nice clean start they had there. He's got the 18 up on the outside of him. TJ Moniz. Trying that high line. We can see Moniz struggling to get the rear end of his car to hang in there. The 42 challenging, Uris Kupris. And the 27 in here as well. That's Kevin Hutchins and that white car with the green roll cage. It's really important to be smooth with these cars with that wing on top. Like I said earlier, it's easy to overdrive and get a little bit sideways, and then you start heating up that right rear tire. Diving to the bottom with a great move is Kupris. And it looks like the 27 is going to come through as well. He will as Hutchins follows by and picks up a position as well. And look at these cars sliding off the corner as Sturgis gets into the mix in the 11. Checkered flag waves after eight laps of racing and another heat race for the Total Seal Light Heats completed here at Seacom. Well, there's a new lightweight helmet out on the market from the folks at Bell making things a lot nicer for comfort and safety. Ralph Bell Helmets has been setting the standard in safety equipment for decades, and this is their newest design. This is the RS7 helmet. It's made of lightweight carbon fiber, and there's also high pressure resin mixed into it. That helps us with a lighter weight helmet and also keeps the driver a lot safer. Also on this helmet, there's a lot of new features. If you can see all of the vents in the helmet itself, there's 14 different vent holes in the helmet. That allows for airflow to come in, and it helps when the driver starts to sweat that the shield doesn't fog up. And speaking of the shield, right here on the front, this is a new thicker shield compared to their old design. There's also new padding inside the helmet as well. There's multiple pads all throughout the helmet with multiple densities. That helps the driver in an impact. And above everything else, the helmet even comes with its own helmet bag. Now we just got to find uh, a helmet carrier for Derek. Yeah, leave it to Derek to be excited about the bag it comes in. All right, here we go with the third heat race 
for the Total Seal Light Heats here tonight. Green flag underway, a highlighted look at this one as well. As the 21 hugs the outside, Anthony Payne back on board a little deeper in the field. This is the 9S of Matt Swanson, another one of the Seymour family cars. It's a great view right there. It can really show us how if you run the high line, you can carry some extra momentum. Watching the 39 fight its way through the middle of the pack, RJ Tufano. Like he's headed to the front. That outline, outside line's working for him for sure. Like I was talking about that momentum. Closing in on the 52. That's Kevin Clark. Oh, had to get on the brakes hard there. You saw a little brake smoke. Tafano with a great move to the middle, splits him, takes the lead. Checkered flag, and Tafano does a great job as RJ takes the win here in Total Seal Light Heat Race. Number three. We'll be back for more with the big NEMA midgets on Speed Sport. The image I have of Louie is in Terre Haute, and they're running for the championship, and he's standing on the berm. And if you knew Louie, he always, always had a stopwatch in his hand. And I believe the family told me he, he went to his final resting place with that stopwatch. <laughs> 